at something which, and I happen to feel that the rule of law is one of the single most sacred things that we have in this country. The problem is there are different kinds of law, and one of them is becoming very large in the world, and it's a thing called Sharia law. And I'm just wondering how we resolve the differences in what constitutes law when we talk Sharia law for 1.3 million billion people in the world and what is commonly thought of as Western law. That's an excellent uh, question. Meaningful to me because uh, my uh, daughter who uh, speaks fluent Arabic uh, having spent three, uh, two years in the Peace Corps, uh, did her uh, studies in uh, Columbia Law School on Sharia and uh, what uh, impact it had in a uh, variety uh, of uh, countries. But if we are to survive and succeed in a globalized world, the United States is going to have to understand that it is a diverse world with many different cultures, and that includes many different legal cultures. A world of law does not mean only one form of law as imposed by the Anglo-American uh, mm -hmm. world on uh, everyone else. And I think uh, we can learn to live with a variety of forms uh, of law, provided that no country has the power to impose their law, either the Islamic world or the Christian world, upon the rest of the world. I mentioned, somebody was talking about earlier about the statement in my book about Kennedy's three greatest speeches. His greatest speech was the commencement address at American University, where he talked about the differences between America and the rest of the world, mm -hmm. but went on to say, those differences can be resolved because we all inhabit the same planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's future. And we are all mortal.